for myself, I think, you know, it took me a long time to sort of realize, you know, toxic masculinity is a real thing, you know, and I think that, um, I think that we need to kind of help each other, particularly as men, we need to help each other get away from that and identify that kind of behavior and help get away from it. You know, because I grew up in an era where, you know, that word was used as, you know, it ain't nothing but a word to me. You know, that's the era that I grew up in, you know, and I grew up where it was perfectly acceptable. You know, it was perfectly acceptable to use that word in front of other women, you know, and, uh, and, um, it, it's not okay. You know, it's not okay. And I, and I think. But where do you learn that? You know, because I had to learn the hard way. It's like I came, I come from an environment, a generation where like that locker room hyper masculinity, totally. yeah. nomenclature is kind of like just accepted. And then yeah. you bring it into certain environments and you, 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 you shoot yourself in the foot. Yeah. But then, you know, you know, I was talking to a friend the other day, that guy who gave me the cell phone. He was, he actually, we talked about this. <laughs> and we're talking about like, it's it's surprising that there is not a manual, mm-hmm. right? If you don't have like proper f- like father figure in your house, mm-hmm. like where do you learn how to treat and talk about women, and what not to say, or talk about you know homosexuality? Like yeah. I, I when I came into town, man, where I grew up, like everybody used the word gay. Yo, that's gay. That's hella gay. Right. That's gay. You're gay. This gay. And then it was not. I didn't even know what a homosexual was. I never mm-hmm. met one. Mm-hmm. Like I, I didn't care. I did, there was no like you know prejudice I had, but I used it in my daily words. And then when I would meet gay people, mm-hmm. and they would hear me talk, imagine like I think about it. And the the way I I the change was forced on me. Mm-hmm. It wasn't because someone stopped and said, "Hey, hey, man, you know you shouldn't do that," or you know that's not PC. It was really, you know, I saw the effect it would have on people that cared about me, right? And that that loved me, yeah. And then they saw that word as like that you know attacking them or mm. you know discriminating and the hurt that that word would use right yeah. i was like no I, I i'm not that guy mm-hmm. and i and i sit back and i would remind i go how come i was never taught this man how right. come no teacher sat me down or no mentor sat me down? i was like yo you don't use these words you don't yeah. call the you don't call women bitches and you don't use you know you don't use fags and gay and stuff right. because these are the consequences and it, you know, if I didn't fix that problem until my 30s, you know, right. what about the kids that never have that opportunity, right? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, as time goes on, society changes, you know, and it tends to correct itself. You know what I mean? And I think, you, you know, like I said, I mean, I had a very opinionated, strong mother, you know, and the certain shit she just wasn't going for, yeah. you know. And um, so that, that helped. I think number one that helped, you know. She had very strong opinions on gender roles, you know, and or, or you know, sort of blurring the boundaries mm. on gender roles. Mm. You know, she was, I was for, for the most part I was raised by a single mother, mm-hmm. you know, and so um, I think that's where that comes from. And I think, y- you know, I think also to a certain degree, you know, why were we not aware that these words are bad? Why, I think. Sometimes the fish don't know that they're swimming in water. Yeah. Do, do, do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. And it's it's until that you you it's pointed out to them that hey man it's not cool. You know da 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 da. I've had guys pull me aside when I was a kid and be like, look man, you shouldn't really say that. And I listen to them. Yeah, yeah. I listen to them. Yeah. You know, and I think that that's really important for you know um, for other men to have that discussion with men. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because if you're speaking a certain way about a certain group, mm-hmm. and then that group it, um, corrects you, yeah. sometimes it's not as effective no. as you if you're in, it. as if your group yeah. says something about it. Yeah. It's like waking up a sleepwalker. Well, it is. I feel like for some people, they'll get super sensitive, and then they won't even hear the message. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You should have just said that. Yeah, but I like so, metaphors. I like that metaphor, I like that, though. though. Now, Thank you. now that it's been explained. Thank you. I like how you trying to hog up the airtime by giving a, f- a metaphor that nobody understands, so you have to explain it. So you get <laughs> double the real estate of the words. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's smart. It's smart. 